everyone, it's Phoebe Simmer. I hope you're all doing well and having a great weekend. Welcome back to another Renovating Willow Creek video and today you'll see that we are working on the Streamlit single and this is also the last house in Foundry Cove district as well that I've got left to renovate. So I think from here I will be moving on to the courtyard lane area um, I'm going to start it off with the Pancakes House as well, which I think will be really fun to renovate. I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, so in today's build, I really didn't have like an image in my head of what I wanted it to look like. I just kind of winged it, but um, I ended up choosing the pink like siding with the brick, um, which is really pretty, but I ended up basing like the rest of the build from that. Um, so it does end up being quite pink throughout like the rest of the house which I mean I absolutely love it because it is my favourite colour so um, it's still a single bedroomed house as well um, but I did want to change the shape of it a little bit um, but still keeping it as a bungalow so when I was renovating it I ended up coming up with the idea of like a sim I imagined living here so I thought it could be someone that's probably just purchased the first house and they've renovated it themselves to kind of like match their personality someone that obviously loves all things pink as well um i feel like they're probably a teacher or something i don't know i just kind of get that vibe from them um so yeah working on the exterior i didn't do too much in terms of like landscaping uh i kept it quite simple uh but still pretty i don't think it needed too much um i did do like a small little driveway just using the sidewalk slabs just to kind of like blend it into the street itself um, and I think the house just blends really nice with like the rest of the area and you know like the other houses and stuff I do really like doing these kind of builds and um, they just kind of like make me think of I don't know like a um, suburban American house or something and um, now I do actually live in the UK and I've never been to America so this is just how I imagine houses to look over there and um, they are my absolute favorite style to build like I just love to live in a house that looks like this but unfortunately they don't really look like this in the UK. Um, speaking of the UK as well I have been thinking of doing a few different English like inspired houses um, but let me know what you think in the comments if you would like to see that um, and also if you are enjoying the video so far please don't forget to like and subscribe but yeah carrying on with the video um, onto the interior I did keep it quite open plan um, I really do like the layout of this house actually um, for wallpapers I kept it with like quite neutral with pink as well um, so I went to view this like show house quite a few years ago and it had like a really beautiful cream and baby pink living room that I just absolutely fell in love with so I tried to kind of create that with this house um, especially for like the kitchen and living room um, I wanted it to be quite cosy but like nothing too crammed so I tried to not colour it up too much um, there is a little bit of clutter but just on like the coffee table um, I also do end up using the um, remote from the debug menu I just really like adding that into most builds I just think it makes it like more realistic um, but yeah over into the kitchen I use the cupboards from Jungle Adventure I believe um, I don't really use those too often but I just think they really suit with this build so um, you know like with the neutral tone of it and everything um but yeah the kitchen does end up being quite small so um i didn't end up adding a sink in there I, I just went with one of the dishwashers um in there just so there's like more workspaces um and i also used the oven and cooker top separate which came with the dream home decorator um it's not too pink in this kitchen actually i did just want the um fridge and the oven to be pink um, and the rest of it's quite neutral um for artwork i used um just the like clutter of paintings and then i used this little shelf which is from one of the newest packs um and then i do end up adding clutter onto the, like the countertops but i didn't want too much clutter just because with it being quite a small kitchen anyway there's not a lot of of workspace there so i ended up just putting all the clutter into like each corner just so that the sims will still be able to like cook and use everything fine and um, then we go next on to like the utilities room and um, just put like washer uh, washer and dryer in there 
and the like little shelving unit as well that I think has got the iron on it. Um, but yeah, this room's really simple. It's just like a bit of a back area just leading into the back garden. Um, and then once that's done, we move over into the bedroom, which I keep that quite pink. Still going with the neutrals as well. Um, it's quite a simple bedroom. I just put a desk in there um, and a set of drawers. Um, I thought if it is like a teacher that's living in this house, she'd probably need like a computer to do, I don't know, like do like schoolwork and stuff. Um, so I added that in there as well um, and just a little bit of clutter onto the desk. And then I kept the bathroom quite simple. Um, I do add um, like the cupboard that's, I would imagine has like, your tablets and stuff in there um so I did that up there and put that in pink as well just to uh, give it a bit of extra um color in there but yeah other than that um I think the build turned out really really nice um I hope you all enjoyed it as well uh if you do don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and the screenshots so I'll see you in the next one bye